more detail we talk in past the law. Obviously, there won't be time to do it all. Um, people will, I uh, hope, be able to uh, learn to that and maybe um, have some questions. What, um, what I thought I would do is just give a, a brief overview of why we are where we are and the sorts of activities that uh, we're undertaking with our NHS partners. First thing to say is that um, um, when we were looking at uh, targets um, um, uh, as a director, we, we were looking at a very small number of targets and felt it was very important to have targets that were quite critical in terms of uh, key areas. So um, this residential and nursing care admissions is a, is a significant indicator um, for women, but also national. The reason we set what is an extremely stretching target this year is because we are uh, a regional outcome. We are missing more people, uh, more old people into the nursing than any of our regional outcomes. Now, that's within the context of a system that in other ways is working very really well. We're uh, exceptionally good at dealing with the election of service care so that we are um, best or second best in the region through hospital systems. We're really good at ensuring that people who have elective admissions into hospital are in for the right period of time and all those sorts of things. But the key question that relates to this indicator is why have we got so many people that are going into residential nursing care? What's going on in the system? And part of that has to do with how the whole health and social care system is um, really put people into a position where they're having to make choices very rapidly in often very difficult circumstances. So in many ways this is intentionally a target which is very difficult to achieve. There have been really significant improvements and the numbers this year are much better than they were last year, but they're still not good enough to ensure that we are in the right position compared to our region comparison. So um, I do agree with Moira that actually in terms of this being a bad indicator and I know really this will be an indicator that we still will for a long time. And you know, what I don't want to do is reduce the pressure that this creates because it's pressure that has to be within the NHS system as well as within the local authority system. The reason that's important is because the NHS system is very focused on getting people out of the hospital and isn't as focused on the quality of care and support that those people are having. That's why it has to be um, in this way. That's the kind of context. In terms of, um, in terms of the, the kind of background, then there have been a number of activities that were uh, involved to try and improve the situation. They're, they're captured on the sheets that, that we've got there. Um, specifically, um, we have um, implemented an integrated discharge scheme, and that uh, integrated has to be much more focused on the integrated back to building homes rather than going to an alternative place. Um, there is a full pilot which is based on hospital expenditure about transporting back home into community services and uh, an alternative to hospital services in the case again, that's very much about preventing admission to provide more services. In addition to those things, we've recommissioned our material repair with uh, responsiveness. with 
Labour President CC did before the council of the board in terms of our priorities for intermediate care and liaison. And intermediate care liaison is our services that provide um, support to make people get back on their feet and yeah, be able to do that in their own home rather than going into treatment centres. That's a very brief one.
we can we can enrich the data.